You place an object on a level with a simple click and drag from the Asset Browser. You can also use the Place tool on the toolbar to quickly add multiple instances of the same asset to that level. Once you place an asset, Transform Manipulators display based on the last Transform tool selected on the toolbar, in this case the Move tool. Using these manipulators, you can move the selected assets on the X, Y, and Z axes. You can also input values manually using the Transform section in the Property Editor. You can use arrows for incremental values or type absolute values. You can also click and drag the spinners for a more dynamic change. The Rotate tool shows spherical manipulators that you can use to change the angle of an asset. You can opt to input values in the Transform panel where rotation angles are expressed in degrees. Scale manipulators display as box points and they are used to change the proportions of an asset. Resize and reshape your assets using the manipulators or the Transform panel. As you can see, the process of placing and transforming assets is quick and flexible in 3ds Max Interactive.